Mm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Mage, uh, Trek, ah, Star Trek Frontiers. I do know the name of this game. And we're, we're having a, an atrocious game. It's been a very rough playthrough. We've had very harsh map positions. We've had some terrible dice rolls in the source. I've made some poor decisions, and the whole thing's accumulated into a very restrictive and hard playthrough which has not come out as awesome as I hope so it's a real it's a, actually quite frustrating but hopefully we can pull it round we are doing pretty well we've only got a few tiles left and then we've basically done the uh done the map and we're only at turn three so we're only halfway through the rounds so we should be starting to reveal you know the cities and getting into position the bad side of that means that a lot of the xp is actually on the table already so we might have to do some backtracking ursula is still doing terrible our reputation for these people are terrible Oh, it's just a really frustrating game and it doesn't help that I've made some pretty shocking errors in judgment as well as a couple of large mechanical errors just by getting the rules wrong. Most notably this diplomacy error. I thought that the reputation track modifies your diplomacy value which it doesn't. So Ursula would have passed this uh, instead of failing it which made a huge difference to that character. Still let's uh get on so we're basically starting with martok martok is got a sick card hand side of six and i think his plan is just to let's do some med mega exploring he's got a huge amount of move in hand so how much move can we actually produce what have we got in the source we've got a white and two blacks. So if I take the yellow, sorry, yellow and two blacks, we run prestige, which is take one damage, produce six move. And we're also going to play this sideways using this ability here to produce another two. So that's six, seven, eight move we've created. And how, what does that do for us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Yeah. So that's eight moves. So that's six, seven, eight. So that's actually perfect. And we have to take a wound into our hand because of this. So we've produced eight move. So let's go. You blam. And you blam. Technically, I'm supposed to declare what place I put it down first, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got two cities. We've got the Borg yellow and the Borg blue. And we have another... M-class planet. Tense negotiations, more diplomacy. Excellent. Okay, so there's quite a lot of stuff going on here. We have Borg Sphere, and we have another Borg Sphere. We also have a red planet to conquer. We have a Romulan Starbase. Excellent. Okay, so there's, cool. Oh, look at this. We've got quite a lot of impassable terrain. So it's hard to get in. This is a well-defended city tile. You know, if I did that the other way, both these ball cubes would have been right next to each other. <laughs> oh, well. Lucky me. So his rep goes up by two. One, two. And I think that's all correct. So we were here. We went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is the end of that. You blam, and we are drawing back to six. Now it is Picard's turn. Now Picard has 
a horrendous deck. I've completely, I mean, his deck, this, this skill is just being terrible. I mean, theoretically it's really good, but it's not, we haven't been having much luck with it. We've got no combat in hand at all. So no combat, it's all movement and dice manipulation and stuff. And we've got no combat on any of our units. So he can't do Jackaroony about anything. He's completely stuffed. Now, there's this new thing here, Diplomacy. For the rest of your turn, you may play cards featuring the word attack sideways to gain Diplomacy. For the rest of the turn, you may play cards featuring the word attack sideways to gain Diplomacy 2 instead of 1. Diplomacy 3 if we power it. I don't really think we need tense negotiations. So I think what I might do, we've got 4, 4, 5, 6 Diplomacy. Don't even even have that much Diplomacy. Oh my lord. 4... Five, six diplomacy. Do we have any? We do not have a blue. Four, five, six. He is plus zero. Heal five, reputation two at the end of the round. Turn one data crystal in your inventory into two data tokens. So we've got absolute masses of move. See, the problem is if we go here, which is probably a good place, we'll have access to this planet access to the base and access to the board cube. But if we attack into this place, this guy attacks first. And the way this works is that we have to deal with, it doesn't sort of combine like in Mage Knight. This guy will attack us first and then we have to attack that. And this guy is pretty brutal. He's got uh, seven physical resistance and he's got six attack. And the real harsh bit is that he's got paralyze which makes you discard your hand if you take any damage, so it's brutal. And we've got no attack at all, and almost none in our deck as well, basically. So, I really think the possible move for this dude is to come down here and do these two locations. Maybe even retake this on his, while he's down here, because you've got a lot of time. We've got another, it's only third round. So this person requires 10 to defeat. So if I go, if I go heal five, reputation two, that's so good, isn't it? But uh, I'm not taking any damage, so it's kind of not. <laughs> okay, so I've got four, five, six. If I go to there, that'll give me seven. So I can't really beat this right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go bam, heal two which I can't do. Turn one data crystal in your inventory into two data tokens of the same color. So I get two uh, blue data. I'm gonna go bam, bam. That gives me four, eight movement. And that is enough for me to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alternatively, I can play this one. That gives me four movement and energy, uh, empty space is reduced to, reduced by one. So that means I could go one, two, three, four, which means I don't even need to do this, do I? but then I use my blue token. I'm gonna to get a new blue token when I land there. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll stick these back in the bin. I will take four. We get four movement. The move cost of empty space is reduced by one to a minimum of one. We then go one, two, three, four. We get this back, this is discarded. Now the question is, do we want to do that? Because 
Now we need all the extra movement to get to here because we've got to go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to have to, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to discard, so that's eight, nine, ten. So what do I need to get here? I need three, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I want to clear this hand, right? So I can draw diplomacy, so I can do something. So I am actually am going to do what I was talking about. So let's go move. We get the two tokens. We get one token for that. That gets us to where we are. We then get another move four. That's the second token. And then we get another move four using the dice. So we've produced four, eight, 12. And that gets us one, two, three, four, uh, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 11, 12. So just to recap, we started here then we cast 12 mana, 12 uh, movement by using this thing to get one data token crystal into two data tokens. It says turn one data. So I think this is still actually destroyed. So we've got two now. So that's four, eight, 12. And this one says that all space is reduced to one or empty space. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve, because that's also empty space. And we've done a huge big move, positioned ourselves, and we've also cleared our hands so we can draw some actual cards. Come on absolutely nothing again look insight gain tokens oh man it's just a horrible we draw into six though aren't we ah some diplomacy at least so we've got plenty of diplomacy now so that's four five six ten diplomacy plus the possibility of using some, this will most likely have a combat as well. And we've still got not a, oh, I've got two damage, two hold damage, except for this. You may use diplomacy as either photon pulse shields or photon torpedo shields. Wow, it's just a very, very frustrating game for me. I'm feeling pretty hardcore. Okay, four. Okay, so now we have Lursa's turn, and I think she's actually going to use this inner light. She's going to pay for it using the white mana. Yeah, bam. Now, inner light has a great dark thing, saying you can just draw an action card, which is very strong, but we're actually going to use the top one. Use a, another ship's discard pile action card. Use either effect for free. Search. Uh, and we're going to use that. Where was it? Heal. Yeah, bam. So we're going to do the bottom one. So we heal two. Which will actually heal this guy. Now, do we want to do heal five and get two reputation? Or just heal two and get data tokens? If we get the data tokens, we've still got the move thought four. You can move through black hole spaces this turn. The move cost of suns and black holes is reduced to one. So that would be one, four, five, six. But I think Martog wants to go there because Martog has to clear this and then move around the side because this whole area is blocked and we need to both get in a position. And I don't think Ursula is in a position to take out that cube, which has five fast biogenetics. That's like poison and only nine to attacks. That's like the poison dragons. That's actually the weakest of the of the Borg spheres. 
So maybe that's actually a good one for her to take. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, four, five, six. If we get the two reputation, that's actually going to get us back into only negative one, which will be pretty helpful though. Okay, yeah, so she's actually gonna do heal five and gain two reputation. Yeah, we're gonna do that and get one, two. Put this back in here just so I don't forget. And then we're gonna go four and we're gonna pay with one of her crystals. Uh, yeah, pay with her crystal. And just go one, two, three, four. Okay, and that is the end of her turn. So she can now take this and then take this while Martog comes in here to that ball cube. But first Martog's gonna take that. So we've got a bit of a plan going on. And that is the end of that session. Okay. Well, let's see how we're going. I think the Klingons are really on top, even with Lursa's terrible start. But we'll see how it goes. Make sure, did I draw up to six with him? He was on this uh, space station. I completely forgot about that, didn't I? Look, he could have got these guys. Did I not do his turn? I think I forgot to do his turn, right? He draws to six. Diplomacy. Okay, I'm gonna to have to save this and see if I forgot to do his turn. Anyway, I'll, actually he draws to seven. He's got two star bases. Let me just quickly quit out and see if I actually forgot his turn. Yeah, so I completely forgot to do Cisco's turn. So let me just recheck this. For starters, let me clean up Ursula. Roll that die. So, you know, there's gonna be all sorts of problems with the dice here, but uh, you know, and what cards are available, but we're just gonna to have to stick through it. And she draws up to five. She's not next to anything. Nope. You blam. Okay, so. Now he has two star bases. He's got the one here and the one here. So he draws to seven, I believe, because he is at five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because he's got the two bases. And so he's got a couple of choices here. He can take out this Borg if he can. That's quite heavy. That needs seven physical damage and is that all resist? I think that's actually resist all. Come over here. Yeah, so this one is actually all fault and torpedo attacks are half. That's the one he's got. This one here is the cold fire resistance. So he's got, re he's got resist red and he's got physical resistance. So he basically needs to do 14 damage and he's got to defend nine red, which is pretty hardcore. Alternatively, he can just buy a whole heap of units, which I think is actually what he wants to do. And he also got channeling of the great link. So what we need to do here is first we'll do channeling of the great link. So we'll do that and we need a black and a blue. We've got no mana, unfortunately. There is a black in here gain a red or a gold fortunately we cannot produce a blue do any of uh do any of these guys produce blue mana no so nothing's actually producing anything but what we're trying to look for here is something that's going to help us in our attacks we have an attack eight, not bad. That's pretty good. We have photon pulse attack six, very good. 
and then we have two very large shields. Now he has two slots available, but we want to cast this at some point. Now we can't cast it now because we can't produce a blue mana. But if only we could produce a blue mana. This can only produce a red or a gold. But we can cast this at any time, the changeling. So, over here, we need 14 physical or we need 7 blue. And this guy here just happens to shoot 6 blue. So if we can produce 8 diplomacy and we are at negative 1. So if we produce 9 diplomacy, we can basically attack the Borg next turn. So let's put him here for now. And that'll leave this guy untapped to allow us to change him. So we still have no blue mana. We have diplomacy four. We have no red mana. Oh, there's a red mana. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. So if we discard like all of them, we can just make it. Oh, maybe we should just go in here. We'll go here. If we go here, we can then attack here. Oh, we can then attack this guy. But then we need non-blue. And that guy we have to block, which means we would need to hire this guy who is 10. So we definitely can't, af we definitely can't afford him. All right, so. Let's do a draw a card. One additional die from the source. Let's roll this sucker and see what we get. Come on. Whoa. Oh, it's a white. Oh my God. I think I love this mechanic. <laughs> I thought I'd hate it, but it's actually really good. So we can basically completely redo our turn. So we can do this to draw two cards. We can actually now pay for changeling. By taking two dice. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's give this a shuffle. Yunk. What you got for us? Okay, long range photon attack six and shields five. So this guy takes seven. So that means we can basically almost long range kill this guy. In fact, we can long range kill him because we have long range attack. As long as we can produce two red mana, this will produce one red mana. So as long as there's one red mana in the thing. So now we just need to move. We've got two movement already. So that gives us four movement. Oh, we can't move there because moving from here to here will actually aggravate this guy to attack us. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight so we need to produce six movement uh, that was actually kind of a bad draw because that particular attack does not work on the borg that we are next to <laughs> that's really unfortunate damn it that is so frustrating but that will allow us to destroy what is ever in here that will allow, oh, we can't move there because that'll aggravate the Borg as well. So that would be three, four, five to get to here without, oh, but then we can't attack in here without aggravating the Borg. Wow, this is a really tough little area. Well, that was a little bit frustrating. So basically, I need to keep one move so I can discard this. There's another diplomacy. 
Have we used our negative five diplomacy yet? We already have, so I don't think we've got any more diplomacy. So we may as well discard the diplomacy as well. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need one more movement. I really don't want to spend that one or this one. So if I do that, I've created four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Bam. It's actually a pretty good move because we end up on the research station. So we didn't buy a unit. Instead, we cast Changeling, the Great Link. Okay, so we cast... Okay, so to recap, we discarded the Repair Hull and we drew Insight, which is very lucky. Then we re-rolled a question mark and got a white, which is even luckier. And then using Insight, we were able to take two dice, a black and a white, and pay for the Great Link, which allows us to draw the top card of the elite crew deck and it, the way it works is it can't go into a new slot it's got to transform an existing person so by transforming our old crew member we untap it and replace it and this is who we got mova now what is good about that is that this guy's attack can actually hit that borg really easily so then we went four by discarding this because this is just a little see the little nebula sign in the corner, right? This can be cast at any point. So we haven't even started our move yet. So then we went discard for four for two plus the two move we always have plus one is five movement and that makes us go one, two, three, four, five. We end our turn on a repair station. Which means, after I discard all this, we can get one of these, and do we have any, we have no wounds to destroy. Okay. And that's that. Now we are no longer next to any of our star bases, so we are back to drawing a lowly five cards. But we have that, so we draw it to six. Bam. So we've got some extra move. Enemy attack reduction. Plus we have enough to kill in long range. Six, seven, eight, nine long range attack. And we can definitely do this because we've got the white crystal. And we've got this thing, which will actually give us a red token. So even if there's no red dice, that ball cube's going down. That's a pretty awesome turn. And that would be the end of this round. Just before I finish, I'll uh, just bring out the board cubes just to make it pretty. So we'd stick the board cubes down. And in the rules for full conquest, you actually play to level four cubes. But because we're playing team rules, I'm gonna bump that up a little. So let's have a look. So level four is one board cube and two Romulan star bases. So I'm gonna bump it up to level six for this game. So we get, let's do that shuffle. This is one board cube and one, two, oop, two, three. Three Romulan star bases. And the blue cube is two ball cubes and one Dominion star base. Bam. Sweet. And that is the current state of the game. So it was a bit of a long turn. I think uh, the Federation seemed to do really well that turn. Besides, you know, having me forget Cisco's go, but whatever. We really lucked out on Cisco's go though, because we did a a random card draw and got a card that allowed us to take two dice and then one of those dice was a question mark and we got a wild card white after a re-roll. 
So yeah, <laughs> I could do with a bit of luck though. I actually felt really good that turn. And Martog's in a great position here to get some XP off those two things. Lursa's in a good position to get XP from these two things. So we're not in as bad a place as it, it could be, but it's still been a pretty sh pretty up and up and down kind of kind of game. Okay, well that's the end of this turn, and I will see you guys next time.